you've got a sister, a mother, a female in the family, you know or you will have seen Patrick Swayze, one of the most well-known faces in movie history to any female and to anyone who's a brother like me. Now, we have all got introduced to Patrick Swayze with Dirty Dancing. You were made to sit there by your sister on a Sunday. Watch this movie. And you'd sit down, you'd watch Dirty Dancing. Now, it wasn't a bad film. Decent, dancey, dancey film. But we kind of knew Patrick Swayze through an earlier film called Red Dawn, which was a decent film, starred with the same actress that he did in Dirty Dancing. He had made other little indie movies before that, or little smaller movies, but Red Dawn was the one that most people knew him from. And then Dirty Dancing blew him up. Blew him up to another level. Time went on, then he made a film called Roadhouse. Now, Roadhouse is a classic film. Absolutely classic film. It's burnt into people's minds. Even Family Guy did an episode with him just running around, shouting Roadhouse around, kicking everybody in the head. Absolutely brilliant film. A year after that, he made Ghost. Now, Ghost blew him into a, another level of fame. I remember my dad picking me up when I was 12 years old and taking me to the pictures to watch Ghost. I, I loved it. It was a good film. I think I watched it again last year. And a year after that, he made what can only be classed as one of the best action films um, of the 90s with Keanu Reeves. He made Point Break. Point Break is something special. Absolutely fantastic film. Never needed to be touched. Now, the reason I mentioned Patrick Swayze and I mentioned his biggest films is because it seems to be a trend of remaking his movies. There's only one problem. Whenever they remake them, they fuck them up. And fuck them up big time. They remade Red Dawn. With, I think they remade it with Chris Hemsworth. It's shit. They remade Dirty Dancing. Which I didn't even know until I checked. Because I didn't think they can't remade Dirty Dancing, can they? What well, they have, and apparently, it's shit. They remade Point Break. Why? Because guess what? <laughs> it's shit. The only one they haven't remade is Ghost. Well, I've, I fucking hope they haven't remade Ghost because you can't remake that movie. And if they have, it's a travesty. But well, they're probably gonna. But the fact is, everything they've done of Patrick Swayze's, Patrick Swayze, they have burned. They have turned into absolute dog shit. Now, a trailer came out yesterday for a film called Roadhouse. Now, what saddens me about Roadhouse, or what saddens me up to now, is it's Jake Gyllenhaal. Now, he's a good actor. My favourite film of his is um, Source Code. Love that movie. Absolutely love it. So, this new trailer's come out. We're going to give it a gander. See what it's about. And let's see if the f*** up another one of Patrick's memories. You know, I really do hope they haven't. Let's give it a watch. We will see. And uh, let's see what we've got to say after that. I've put my headset on for this. Before we start, do you have insurance? What? Your coverage good? Like, you have dental? What's that oh, colour? Is there a hospital nearby? Is it like That is far? yellow. Like 25 minutes, I'd say. <sighs> I just slapped you. Are you alright? <laughs> did he just slap him? <laughs> that faint slap. So you like Sorry, can we just uh, rewind that? Because that was quite good. You have insurance? What? Your coverage good? Like, you have dental? Oh, haha. -ha. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it like too far? I, I do like Jake. Minutes, I think I he's a really good actor. I just slapped you. Are you alright? What? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. Come back to so slap, like to slapping everybody like that. When? No one ever wins a fight. Okay. Okay. Oh. 
Now it was always said Maybe in the old Roadhouse that uh, it was a fighter, but it never showed it. A friend of mine suggested I come talk to you. I own a Roadhouse out in the Florida Keys. Lately, it's been attracting the wrong clientele. No, oh, that's the same. The cage, I cage, and stuff. Money. Judging by your car, you need that. Well, I like my car. Think about it. Come on, bro. I know who you are. Elwood Dalton, big fan, man. That guy's got a knife under his shirt. You just take a big step back and pop me in the face. You can do it. Tell me about this fountain. I wonder if he's going to have an old mate turn up. Because he got his old mate in the in the original. Really interesting guy, overall. Brand wants to take the roadhouse away from me. He wants to build some resort. Similar story. People have a certain way of getting things done around here. Oh God, is that Conor McGregor? Looks like you're having a smashing no, I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. On, oh, that was a good nut. Let me guess. You know, threaten me. Tell me to get out of town. I get the impression that he can't be threatened. Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. <laughs> oh, oh that guy. I just can't let go. People seem a little aggressive around here. Is that one in front of yours? No, I just broke his arm. I'm trying. Ooh, now what normally um <laughs> I don't know. Now the fighting looks good. Okay, I'll I'll give you I'll give you that. The fighting looks really good. I love Jake. Not a very big fan of Conor McGregor. Um the story seems very very similar apparently it's on prime which is very odd i thought they'd be really releasing it at the cinema but they're not so like most of patrick swayze's other movies they're just sending it straight to tv because why bother remaking it if you're going to remake something remake it really good and put it on the movies why they did the same with did they release Point Break at the pictures? They might have. I, I really do hope they don't remake Ghost, you know. They, I'll give that a watch because it does actually look pretty decent. It, the fighting looks good in it. It's, it's a very similar story. But at the end of the day, if you're going to watch Roadhouse, watch fucking Roadhouse.